Hello, Pre-Calc Lesson 96 here. We have more double angle identities, triangle area, again, and proof of the law of sines and equal angles imply proportional sides. Whew, it's a lot of things. So let's first just start with some identities. Okay, we want to show that sine x plus cosine x quantity squared is one plus two sine x. So I'm going to square this term out. So I will get sine squared x plus two sine x cosine x plus cosine squared x, okay? And I know that sine squared plus cosine squared is one, so I get one plus two sine x cosine of x. And I already have an identity that says two sine x cosine of x is sine of two x. There you go, done. Let's do another example, okay? We have the cosine of the fourth x minus the sine of the fourth x over cosine squared x equals one. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as cosine squared x squared minus sine squared x squared all over the cosine, excuse me, the cosine of two x. And I can factor this top into the cosine squared of x plus the sine squared of x times the cosine squared of x minus the sine squared of x all over cosine of 2x. Okay, now, I know that the cosine squared of x plus the sine squared of x is one. So I am left with the cosine squared of x minus the sine squared of x over the cosine of 2x. Okay, and we actually had three different identities for this. We know that the cosine squared of x minus the sine squared of x is the cosine of 2x. Cosine of 2x divided by the cosine of 2x is one. This was one of our identities we did before. So those are some more double angle identities for you. Okay, let's talk about the triangle area formula. Okay, so the new formula we have is the half product of any two sides and the sine ang the sine of the angle between that gives us the area. So what does that look like? Okay. If I have this triangle here, ABC with sides ABC, if I draw my height x, I know that I solved for x by doing the sine of this angle here is opposite over hypotenuse, so x would be c sine of a. x is my height. So my area is one half B, my base, times C, times the sine of the angle in between, A. Okay, and here, if I did my area, I did one half my side A, my side B, sine of C. It's the angle in between those two sides. Sides. Area is one half, I wrote one half twice. One half C times A, sine of B, angle in between. So let's do an example, okay? I have this triangle. I have nine inches, 16 inches, and 58 degrees. Now, I need this angle in between my two sides, okay? Now, I don't know that angle, but I sure can find it. I'm gonna first find this angle by doing the law of sines. I'm gonna call this angle A. All right, so I know that the sine, or sorry, nine over the sine of A equals 16 over the sine of 58. So then 16 sine of A equals nine sine of 58. So the sine of A is nine over 16 sine of 58. So A is the inverse sine of nine over 16 sine of 58. And what does that give me? The inverse sine of nine divided by 16 sine of 58. Using 28.49. So then I do 180 minus that answer minus 58 gives me this other angle. And it gives me 93.51 here. So then my area is one half times nine times 16 
times the sine of that angle. So I can do it all in my calculator. All is one step. And it gives me my area is 71.87 inches squared. Okay? So we're using all the things now. Law of sines and new area formula. Now let's talk more about the law of sines. Okay. Proof of the law of sines. So we just figured out, or I just told you, that this is the area of a triangle, one-half BC sine of A, right? If this was my triangle A, B, C, this would be A, this would be C, okay? And then the area also could equal one-half AB sine of C. Now, if that's true, if their area equals both of those, then I can set both of those equal to each other. So one-half BC sine of A equals one-half AB sine of C. And I can divide both sides by one-half B, right? That's what both sides share, leaving me with C sine of A equals A sine of C, okay? I'm going to manipulate that. I'm going to divide both sides by sine of A sine of C. So now the sine of A's cancel, the sine of C's cancel, and I'm left with C over the sine of C equals A over the sine of A. My law of sines. Yay! Now, even trickier, we're going to prove something using the law of sines. So here are two triangles. And I'm going to just tell you guys that these two triangles are proportional. Okay? So, I'm going to say that A over A1 equals some scale factor, B over B1 is a scale factor, and C over C1 is some scale factor. Okay? And I am going to say that A over the sine of A equals B over the sine of B equals C over the sine of C, and I'm going to let it equal some constant K. And I can likewise say that A prime over the sine of A prime equals some constant K. So then if I did A over the sine of A divided by A prime over the sine of A prime, which is what I have here, A over A prime, gives me k over k prime, which gives me a constant p. So that shows me a over a prime equals some constant p. Which leads me to these two truths. Corresponding sides of any similar triangles are proportional. Right? We know this is true. It's part of similar triangles. And the ratios of all pairs of corresponding sides equals a constant. The ratio of the sides now equals a constant. Okay, this is just kind of proving that if you have two similar triangles, all the different things you can do with that. Okay, so we will use these in different capacities, but not right now because this is all for the lesson, so you all just have to wait till tomorrow in class. <laughs>